start off by doing some distance conversions. So if we were to convert 3,000 miles to kilometers, Well, I'm aware of the conversion that one mile is equal to about 1.6 kilometers. Now, there may be more accurate conversion, but this is close enough for the purposes of showing you the process of conversion. Now, one mile is equals 1.6 kilometers. I could also write that as one mile over 1.6 kilometers. Or I could also write this as 1.6 kilometers over one mile. Now depending on how you set up your problem, but what the problem is, you'll use either one, either one mile over 1.6 or 1.6 over one mile. Now approaching these conversions using dimensional analysis, I start with my 3,000 miles. And I'm going to write my first conversion factor here. And I'm going to make sure that I'm going to cancel out the mile. So I immediately put the word mile, the unit mile, in the denominator. So that means I'm going to cancel out the word or the unit mile. Now, do I know a conversion that will get me from miles to kilometers in one step? And yes, it's this conversion right over here, this conversion factor here. So I plug that conversion factor in as written 1.6 kilometers over one mile. Did math on the units already. Miles cancel out and now I do math on the numbers. And that turns out to be 1.6 times 3,000 is 4,800 make sure that's a comma, not a decimal point 4,800 kilometers. So, in writing this in scientific notation, it will be 4.8 times 10 to the third, because I converted 4,800 or 4,800 to 4.8, I have to make that number larger by compensating with a large exponent here. And it's three because I shifted the decimal place one, two, three places to get the 4.8. Okay. Let's try another one. Let's convert 5,000 kilometers to miles. Using dimensional analysis again, write what I'm given here, 5,000 kilometers. And now I'm aware of a conversion factor that will get me from kilometers to miles or miles to kilometers in one step. So, and that conversion factor is this one up here. So I write the unit of kilometers in the denominator immediately because I know my first step is to cancel out the units of the given quantity. The given quantity is 5,000 kilometers, and so I immediately need to cancel out the kilometers. And if I could do that with a one-step conversion factor, great. In this case, I do have a one-step conversion factor because there's 1.6 kilometers 
Make sure that decimal's there. 1.6 kilometers in one mile. So now math on the units is already done, and so I'm left with miles, and now math on the numbers, 5,000 divided by 1.6 is 3,125 miles. In, con in scientific notation, this would be 3.125 times 10 to the third. Now we'll do some conversions with mass. Now if we were to convert 200 and 26 grams to milligrams. Hmm. Well, the conversion between grams and milligrams is that there are a thousand milligrams in one gram. It's really important we appreciate this that a milligram is really small and we need a lot of really small items to make up this larger one gram item. Now that's the equation between a milligram uh, between milligrams and grams. Rewriting that as a conversion factor, write a thousand milligrams over one gram, or I could also write it as one gram over a thousand milligrams. Other one is fine. It's really important that you get this number sense that you need a thousand small ones for one larger one, and that a milligram is a small item compared to a gram. So if I want to convert 226 grams to milligrams, approaching it dimensional analysis, I write my given 226 grams And I see that there is a one-step conversion between grams and milligrams. And immediately I write the unit grams in the denominator because that's got to cancel out. And I look at these conversion factors up here and I notice that this is the one I'm going to use. So I write a thousand milligrams in the numerator. And so math on the units is already done. Math on the numbers is 226 times 1,000, which turns out to be 226,000 milligrams. And that, sh that number should feel right to you because there should be a lot more milligrams in my then in my starting 226 grams. So I want to convert this to scientific notation. The coefficient out of that larger number would be 2.26 and I need to compensate for the fact that I made 226,000 2.26. I need to compensate by that for that by multiplying the 2.26 by a large exponential number, which in this case is going to be 10 to the fifth. Where did that come from? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 milligrams. Don't forget our units here. So 
try another one. Let's convert point zero zero three four grams to milligrams. Approaching it dimensional analysis, the rating of given point zero zero three four grams and I use that same conversion factor grams is in the denominator and the grams unit immediately cancels out and I know that there's in one gram there's a thousand milligrams and math on the numbers now is simply a thousand times point zero zero three four which is three point four milligrams so again this should feel right to you point zero zero three four grams is the same as three point four milligrams why is that because milligrams are smaller so I could pack more milligrams into my point zero zero three four grams <clears throat> Try one more. Using milligrams. So four hundred and twenty five milligrams now, for example, we want to convert that to grams. Let's convert milligrams to grams. So, if we had 425 milligrams, and the problem is now to convert that to grams. Well, write out 425 milligrams. and I write the unit milligrams in the denominator immediately because I want to cancel that unit out. Now the question is what conversion factor am I going to use? Well we decided that from before there's a thousand milligrams in one gram or you can write it as one gram for every thousand milligrams. Think about this for a moment. It's kind of tempting to go and want to use this one here, but I'm not going to circle that one entirely because we need to use this one. That is because the unit of milligrams is in the denominator. So I write a thousand milligrams in the denominator and one gram in the numerator. Math on the units is done, and so math on the numbers is 425 divided by 1,000, which is 0 0.425 grams. And again, that, that's a number sense. You should feel comfortable with 0 0.425 grams is equal to 425 milligrams. And let's try one more with mass. And let's say we have 0 .00, 0 .000671 milligrams. We want to convert that to grams. Approach it the same way. Right when I'm given first, and the conversion factor I'm going to use is the one I just used. And I always like to start out by saying I'm going to write the unit of my given in the denominator 
So make sure those units cancel out. Now I've determined what conversion factor am I going to, going to use. Well, I'm going to use the same one I just used. So one gram goes in the numerator and a thousand milligrams in the denominator. So math on the units is already done. So math on the numbers is 0 .000671 divided by 1,000, which in this case is the equal sign. So in this case is 0 .000671 grams. Now, this might seem weird because you say, God, that's such a small number. But again, remember, you're converting milligrams to grams. And think about that from a number sense, from a, from a physical feel. A milligram is smaller than a gram. So if you're going to convert to grams, the number you should get should even be smaller. So if I want to convert this to scientific notation, I extract 6.71 that's my coefficient from this small number. Now because I extracted 6.71, I need to compensate for that by multiplying 6.71 by a negative exponent. It's negative by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Negative 7. And that is grams.